everybody. Welcome back to Talking Walls match review. It's a big one. This could be the or one of the biggest results of the season in the Premier League for Wolves this season. It's finished Wolves 2, Watford 1 at Vicarage Road. My name is Dave. Today I'm alongside Matt Cooper. How's it going, Matt? Very, very happy after that. Very That's happy. Yeah, man. What a, what, a, what a result that is. Huge. Yeah. yeah. I mean, was it just me that was very, very nervous throughout? It was just one of them games, wasn't it? And it just, just, cut, just threw out the game. Yeah. Uh, most streamers behind as well. And I was like, oh, I'm just expecting my phone to go off here, like 2 2. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we, we held on. Not not like we did at Wembley, but we're here for the here and now. And this is what matters now. And it's just a, a great result and, uh, and quite a good performance as well, bar a few individual errors. <laughs> Which we'll talk about. Um, Matt's starting lineup unchanged from Arsenal. There were a couple of people uh, that I had spoke to, half expecting a couple of changes. But I think when you play that well against Arsenal, you shouldn't really need to you make can't changes. Put to Arsenal and then change it. Yeah. Imagine if he'd change it and we'd lost that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would have got the pelters, wouldn't he? Yeah, exactly. So that's our strong, strongest eleven, I'd say, apart from maybe Sace or Bennett. It kind of, you know, in depends. The, in the, yeah, it yeah, depends yeah. on the situation, uh, doesn't it? Yeah. But apart from that, that's our strongest eleven. So yeah, faultless really from Nuno today. Yeah, perfect lineup. And I mean, throughout the first half, when I was watching it, it just seemed Wolves were really up for it, battling, getting into those challenges. An early ch- uh, challenge on uh, Delafeu by Neves, strong challenge. But Wolves just seemed really up for it, wanted to get every ball, didn't they? They, they weren't letting Watford allow, uh, well, weren't really allowing Watford to, to get the ball first. Yeah, I know Nuno said, like, if you focus on revenge, then you won't do the job in hand. But I think that was in the back of the minds. They, they battled yeah. all the game. Um, you know, meaty challenges left, right, and centre. But saying that, they put a few meaty challenges in. That's you know could have been on another day. Red card. The the Kapua one should have been a red, but I'm sure we'll come on to that. But yeah, you know, battled well. Yeah. Uh, not what we've seen the past few weeks, barring the Arsenal results. So it's good to see us hit a little bit of decent form towards the end of season running. Yeah, as you say, I mean, Nuno in these press conferences, he always has these little. Um... These little quotes where he says, obviously, he takes every game by game, revenge yeah. and so on. But you are right. I mean, those players there, they don't want to have played Watford three times and not come out with anything, any of those games. So Especially the man that they lost yeah. and the comments from that clown. <laughs> um, but, I, I mean, Wolves, fanta- well, to be fair, I'm going to say fantastic goal for that. First got a goal right on half-time. Yeah, that goal. Yeah, Neves, fantastic from him. Obviously, a little bit of pressure on him. On the floor, somehow still plays a fantastic pass out to Diogo Jota. Great crossing. Defending for me, a little bit suspect there. But, you know, you, you get what you're given. And, uh, Raul Jimenez took his chance very well, didn't he? Yeah, and then obviously did the old. Yeah, yeah, the, that's it. The, the shirt raise. The the name of. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I love that from Raul. Uh, especially from, the, the, like I said, the, the comments from Dini. Yeah, he obviously had that in the back of his mind, but never is there like juggling, keeping the ball up. Yeah, um, you've been watching you and I think EAB skills <laughs> keeping that ball up there. The great, great bit of battling, and then to like ping the ball out wide. Jota's got the beating of his man every single time, like he did for you know the majority of the game. Yeah. Great cross, and you know Jimenez, he, he can't miss it from there. The, the form that he's been in for most of the season, you just he just knew he was going to score. Saying that, the chance he had before was an easy chance. Yeah. But I mean, it could have been, uh, well, it couldn't really have been anyone else on the current form. Diego Jota getting that assist for him as well. Great little ball into him. Oh, he's brilliant, isn't he? He's yeah. so good. I saw, so... Um, I saw a stat uh, just that his form in 2019 it far surpasses his form it, that, that he started within 2018 in the Premier League. I think he's got about triple the goals or something ridiculous now. Um, you know, his form since the turn of the year or since the end of December has been fantastic. And it's great to see him continuing that he's, as well. He's been our best player this calendar year, I'd say. Yeah, uh, yeah, you just he he doesn't he doesn't seem to like be that that quick, but the speed that he runs with the ball, it just like glues to his foot. That's what makes him so hard to to tackle. To tackle. He's so strong as well. Oh, he did he, that. He's just a brilliant player, and he picks the ball up from deep. He gets up the pitch, and he's got that bit of magic. He's he, I can't wait to see him in a wool shirt next season doing it from the get go. Yeah, I mean, he's a very, very special talent at the moment. And going into half-time, of course, you're, you're always going to be happy with that goal lead. Uh, but obviously, we did take that goal lead into, uh, at Wembley against Watford, and we know what happened there. But 
you know, that's always going to be with Wolves. You never know what's going to happen. Normally, we, well, historically this season, we have been a second half team, really. But unfortunately, mm. we uh, allowed Watford to get into the game a little bit easier than we thought. Playing the way we play, playing the ball out of defence, I'm surprised it's not actually happened sooner. But Ryan Bennett, a really poor back pass. No disrespect to Ryan, probably one of the. Not well, probably the worst ball player in the team. He's laid that off uh, on a plate for Watford. He made a little bit of a meal of it, but in the end, put the ball into the back of the net. Matt, I know you've got thoughts on this one as well. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm just I'm just glad we've won that game. Yeah. Because if we'd have lost that game or drew that game because of that lapse of concentration, I think I'd have been around Bennett's house tomorrow. <laughs> um, it, it's really poor at the, the highest level. You can't you can't switch off and you can't play balls across your box like that. Yeah, it's a shame for Bennett because when he's coming to the team, he's he's done really well and he's one of the, he's one of these. I've said it before for him to be in that starting eleven, he's got to be playing to the utmost of his ability. And I, I think that's just kind of shown that he's not probably not going to have such a pivotal role as he had this this season. Next, can't see him playing there. He's 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 really really good at doing the basics defensively, but those are the basics. And when you start doing that, then you're surplus to requirements. Yeah, well, I I I think I mentioned it on the preview or a review previously against Arsenal um, a few weeks ago. I, I didn't expect to see him again in the wool shirt. And of course, the last yeah yeah the last couple of games he has been very very solid. And today. I think he, he did okay up until that little error, and you could tell at times he was a little bit shaky yeah, he after that. Lights when he had the ball at his feet. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, great players if they make a mistake, you see him kind of gene everyone up, but he just kind of went in on himself. Um, but it it does matter, but it also doesn't matter because we picked up the three points. I'm just a bit a bit gutted for him because these next two games probably the last time we're going to see him maybe in a wool shirt. Maybe that's a bit harsh, but. I'm sure they'll bring another right side of 10th half in the summer. Oh, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Wolves always come up with them uh, with the surprises. But sticking on the uh, subject of mistakes, Ben Foster. Couldn't really happen to a nicer person, could it? Ball in from uh, Ruben Foster. Neves. <laughs> <laughs> Great ball from Neves, you've got to say. And Ben Foster, not too sure what he's doing. Runs into no man's land. Completely mis- misjudges the, the flight in the the speed of the ball. Diogo Jota, which on paper probably looks like an easy finish, but he did have to watch out. A lot of strikers sort of, if they see a goalkeeper come in, tend to leave it. But Jota with a finish again, continuing his rich vein of form. And Matt, do you, do you think Wolves deserved it at that point? Because I feel Watford were sort of on the front foot. Yeah, but Not I'd completely, say, but we didn't. At the first half. But yeah. You've got, you've got to take your chances. I don't think Watford created that many clear-cut chances. Yeah. And then, Foster's essentially chucked one in the net for us. He's probably thinking, God, if we pick up three points here, what can I tweet about? Walls and 5 1. <laughs> we went ahead that. Yeah. Uh, but I think it was Tony Gale on comms. Probably the most biased piece of commentary I've heard all season. Ridiculous. That cross from Nevers, he went just a hopeful punt downfield. Not sure whether that's a cross or a shot. And all. Are you watching the same game as me? Yeah, He's always picked out a jotter at the back stick. All right, Foster's made a hash of it, but it's a great ball. And that's not an easy finish there, dropping out the score. Yeah. But Jota's banging form, and if anyone was going to score that, it was going to be him. Yeah, I agree. That co-commentary was a bit suspect, but yeah. Mate, re- awful. Yeah. Absolutely. It was so biased. Yeah. Really, really good finish, and that's when everything, you know, it was a bit squeaky bum time for us as fans. Wolves looked completely in control, though. It wasn't as if Watford had any close, or we had any close shaves. Couple of, a couple of more talking points, though. Great counter-attack by Wolves. Jota doing what he does best, running through the men, and gets absolutely wiped out. Uh, was it Cabasaley? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, Cabasaley. Cabasaley going through the back of him, and the referee gives nothing. Um, I, I, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. He's literally just cleared him out. It's probably the, the Stonewall penalty of the season, isn't it? I can't see. Like I don't but even then, think he gets a touch of the ball. Tony Gale's like, I can see why the referee hasn't given it. So. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Take off your suit, mate, and put your Watford shirt back on. Um, oh, it was it, it was a stone wall. Yeah. And I think it was a start of sheer frustration over like, God, we're gonna lose the game here, or like we need to get the try and get the ball back and recover as quickly as he can. It he's just absolutely cleared him out. Yeah. Just stayed down because obviously in the in the ninety odd minute and I don't blame him, but it's just a ridiculous decision. And then obviously we'll go on to the, the Kapoo yellow card, which should have been a red. Yeah, again, ball over the top, Jota threw on goal. There's a few ways you could look at it. I mean, he's threw on goal there. The referee obviously doesn't think it's a goal-scoring opportunity, so he gets a yellow out. But then he's, Jota's pushed over again. OK, Jota may have thrown himself on the floor a little bit. But the, at the same time, you know, he's still raising his arms and 
push an opponent. If that happened anywhere else on the pitch, that would have been if, a, another booking. If if you stupid enough to raise your arms to an opposition opposition player, um, and 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 they buy it and go down, then you know it's your fault. Yeah. Keep your hands to yourself. You're a professional footballer. I yeah. know emotions get the better of them, but if you get sent off for that, you've only got yourself to blame. Yeah, but I mean, enough of Watford, enough of the refereeing performance, a, a, a superb victory for Wolves overall. Finally winning in the away kit, in that white kit, who just seemed to be um, a little bit of a curse on us. Matt, if, if you had to pick out a couple of key players from the game, I know we've mentioned a few already, who would you pick out? I thought Martinho played well, um, but I'd, I'd say Neves. Neves again, it, yeah. It's good to see him back to what we know he can do. You know, he's recovering the ball well. His passing was was on point today. He's got an assist. He's got a key pass to Jota. Um, not as deep as he's usually been either. Made some great interceptions. Yeah, I'd say Neves. I thought Jota played played well as well. Yeah. And Donker had a quiet game. He, he's just, he just hasn't got much awareness. As he's like, he's concussed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, I mean, he like, he, he, he like flicks balls on when there's like, 10 yards of space. <laughs> pretty good he's been great since he come in, but he's just, he's, he's just got no awareness. But yeah. um, I thought Cody was a little bit better, still dropping really, really deep, uh, which he's going to have to sort out. Uh, obviously, Bennett might. You say that, might. you know, Cody, he, at one point, when he, he got the ball and he ran forward of it, there were, um, I think it was like around the 70th minute or something, um, and there were just no options. He kept running with it. And I think at one point he was like the second third of his man forward. I was like, he's, he's yeah, going to no, have a headache big. up there, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that chance that Delafeo had in the first half, you know, where Pereira yeah. played him through onto a lot of Bolly's left hand side. Yeah. Um, it would have been offside if Cody wasn't dropped so deep. Yeah. So and he, he needs to work on that because it's gonna he's gonna keep costing us. Maybe yeah. it's because he's slow as. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I don't know, but I thought. Every every player played well, apart from the individual error from Bennett and um, and then Don Craven quite a quiet game. Patricio's kicking the game was absolutely awful. Yeah, uh, yeah so I, it's, the problem is, what is he now? Not thirty one, thirty two. You're not going to be able to teach that distribution now. That that's him. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that gives uh, Nuno a headache going into the next season. I think because of the money we paid for him. I don't think they'd replace him. Say if we spent six million on Patricia or something like that, I'd, I reckon he'd be, he wouldn't be in the starting eleven next season. Yeah, that's more just because you know we we lose possession of the ball so many times with with his distribution, but he also makes some fantastic saves. So, what do you think it is, though, Matt? Because you know Patricia has been at such a top level for so long. Like, is it because of the the league that he's been in? You know, he's been Portugal number one, or do you think it's because he's had good good players around him, or do you think it's just he's he's his shot stopping sort of makes up for it almost. He's one of the best shot stoppers I've seen. Yeah, you know that one against Sterling at the start of the season. Yeah. I still don't know how he saved that, but you know I don't know if it's just kind of like us being lazy with our our, our, our thoughts and just an assumption. But you'd expect keepers on the continent to be good with it on the, the feet, wouldn't you? But yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Oh, but, it's... Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> he, he punted one downfield. Um, and Jimenez was in, uh, I think, in the second yeah, yeah. staff. I was like, why can't why can't you do that? Why well, can't you why can't you just get rid of it? He, re- he, re- he rarely um, reaches a halfway line from a goal kick. Yeah, I think his run up's quite strange as well. He's quite short. Yeah, his actual but... technique of his kicking. He's like he's trying to break the ball. He absolutely mm. wallops it, but you don't you don't need to do that. But um, I mean, that's probably a discussion for another day. Anyway, it was a bit of a. He, I thought his kicking was good on uh, at Arsenal, so it's a bit of a bit of a weird. Not one. Much to do either, and what he did do, I tell you what, that save he made for the, the goal when Delafeo tried to take it around, that was brilliant. It just so happened it fell to grow, <laughs> and then it's just like just doddling back. You just see it on his face like off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, yeah. top performance from Wolves. Top team performance, uh, other than the mistake. Uh, by Ben, I think everyone did what they needed to do. Who's your man of the match, though? Who would you give it to? I'll probably give it to Jota. I think just every time he got the ball, it looked like at times he was going to make something happen, didn't he? Got the goal, got the assist, uh, both very well taken. Um, and overall, you know, I'm, I'm just very, very happy. Looking at the Premier League now, Wolves are four well, points well, clear. Leicester have got a game tomorrow, haven't they? Arsenal. Yeah. I uh, but we'd still... Arsenal, I want to try and bounce back from... Uh, yeah, as you say, even if Arsenal, you know, get something there, we're five points clear of Leicester, four clear of Everton and Watford. Um, 
a win at Fulham will more or less guarantee us that seventh spot. And then obviously we've got to hope that <laughs> Watford don't beat, beat Man City. Fulham, I'm telling you now, yeah. we're not going to beat Fulham. It's just sod's law. We'll beat arguably one of the best sides this season in Watford. Yeah. Arsenal. Who well, Fulham are... have all of a sudden hit a bit, a bit of form, haven't they? They won again today as well. Um, and I think since they've been relegated, they've probably, they've probably got mid-table form, which is ironic. Really. They've won the last three, Fulham have. Um, yeah, so, I'm I mean, only a bit hard if today, but... Yeah, but... I just it's just so slow, isn't it? it's just the way the season's gone we've had like, great scouts in the top six important games we've won like Everton away that was a great performance same again today and then Fulham will probably beat us <laughs> but then we'll beat Liverpool on the last day so it doesn't matter <laughs> well let's hope so uh, guys let us know your thoughts fantastic victory today for Wolves make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe to the channel if you're new as always, we'll have some more content coming up this week and uh, all the pre-match Fulham uh, content too. Until then, enjoy the rest of your weekend though, guys, and we'll see you all very, very soon.